they played off each other was just brilliant. And, you know, Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee... <laughs> Why, hello there YouTube and welcome back to 31. So we're on day 6 now and it is our final day of Cushing and Lee week. So today I'm reviewing The House on the Long Shadow. <laughs> on the long shadow so this is a comedy a british comedy horror which is directed by pete walker and of course it does star you know peter cushing christopher lee with vincent price and john carradine you know the only time these four horror icons actually came together and did a movie we also have um other characters like um like um se Arnez Jr., who plays uh, writer Kenneth uh, McGee, who, you know, is trying to, well, he needs to get some writing done, and his publisher suggests that, that you know, this lone house where he can write in peace, and, um, you know, offers him £20,000 if he goes there and spends the night. Of course, upon arriving, he discovers that the house is, well, not empty as Lord Elijah, uh, Grimsbane, played by John Carradine, is present. And then, you know, he gets greeted by a woman named Victoria, played by uh, Sheila Keith. And then, of course, others start to arrive, such as uh, Lionel Grimsbane, a relative of Lord Elijah played by Vincent Price, and then, of course, we get Sebastian Grimsbane, who, again, is another family member, and then they have another one that uh, joined them, Mr. Corrigan, um, and they all find that they are all here. Well, whilst McGee carries on with his writing, the family all get together, and, of course, Christopher Lee's character, uh, Mr. Corrigan, uh, is there and they believe that they're all being punished by Roderick Grimsbane who is a brother that they did a, you know, a terrible thing to and he's here for revenge and he's killing them all and that is revealed to be Christopher Lee himself his character who isn't Mr. Corrigan but is in fact Roderick who wants revenge on his family for locking him away and stuff whilst, you know, Biggie and Victoria are caught up in it all, and then, next thing, the whole thing's revealed to be a big ruse, and, you know, it's all set up. Um, yeah, so, that's probably the plot all there, so what did I like about this film? Well, like I said, I liked that we didn't just get Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee co-starring together again, but we also had the legendary Vincent Price and John Carradine, as I said already, where this is probably the only film where all four of them were in one movie, and it was great seeing that quartet. To me, they're like the four horsemen of horror. You know, Vincent Price, John Carradine, Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, all them four. And how they played off each other was just brilliant, and, you know, 
Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee, they're what you expect in these movies. And, you know, David, K not David, that's the son. John Carradine, of course, and Vincent Price, they also have co-starred in films together, such as The Monster Club, which I reviewed a few years ago on my Vincent Price week. Um, but yeah, it was great seeing all of them together. Also, I like the character of McGee, who was just writing in peace and was, you know, staying there for this wager that his publisher offered him. Um, and then, in the big twist, it's kind of like a whole setup. Yeah, a bit bizarre, but yes, I, I just thought this film was great, though. The cinematography, the way each, you know, of the four men, you know, Price, Carradine, Cushing and Lee, all make their entrances were just, you know, I just like the way they all made their entrances from that dark, from the dark silhouettes and the mistiness, just so greatly done and I thought that was just, you know, brilliant and you can't go wrong with them four and I'm surprised that the four of them didn't do more films before or after, of course. John Carradine was pretty old by then, and I believe he died in the 80s. Um, let's just have a look here. Um, John Carradine, yeah, he died in 88, so he died like five years after this movie came out. And um, of course, Vincent Price and Peter Cushing soon followed in the early 90s, leaving Christopher Lee, who would go on to live on a bit longer, but would eventually pass away in the mid-2010s. Um, but, yeah, I thought this had, even though the cinematography, I've, I've always commented it on this week, the cinematography in these films, I just like the old school look of it, even though at that time it wasn't old school, it was probably modern, but, you know, I just liked that whole vintage look and you know this film is darkly funny and you know what i wasn't bored watching it this film's about a good um a good 100 minutes and yeah i think it runs for a, a decent amount of time and you know at the end of the day who doesn't want to see all four of those legends together in one movie so house on the low on the long shadow where am i going to rate this one you know what, let's end this one on a good high, and I personally think it was a good one, classic. I'll give it five stubs out of five. Five stubs out of five for, you know, the house on the long shadow. So yeah, have you seen it? Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can watch all the 31 so far, especially this first week. And I'm not the only one doing it. There's many other channels out there in this community that are doing the 31 day challenge. So yeah, that's it for Cushing and Lee week. So, but don't worry. This is just to be, you know, this is just our first week. We've got four more themes. So I'll see you tomorrow where it will be a new week and a new theme. And we are going back to the 90s. So, until then, going up nightmares.